You need to understand your voice does not just mean words. Someone say your voice. Oh, come on people. Your voice does not just mean words. Your voice, whatever it sounds like, can be an utterance of heaven. And an utterance isn't just words. Okay, look at your friend and say, utterance isn't just words. This is, this is what the Lord led me to. John 11, this is about the, um, when Jesus knew that Lazarus was dead. And we'll start at verse 33. It says, Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping, so Mary, and the Jews who came with her weeping, He groaned. Someone say groaned. He groaned. That word there means an indication of speaking or acting with deep feeling. That was not a passive thing. When Jesus heard that Lazarus had died and He saw the Jews and He saw Mary weeping, He's like, no! It's like a whoa! Right from the guts. There was a groan. There was a response in his heart called compassion. Someone say compassion. When the response of compassion comes, Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him? And some of them said, could not this man who opened the eyes of the whole blind also have kept this man from dying? Verse 38, then Jesus again groaning, a sigh, an anger, a deep feeling, an inner strength. To charge sternly, Jesus felt something. There was an indignation groan over a situation. Someone say indignation. Okay, someone shake your feet. Now grab your friend's arm and shake their arm. Thanks. Just shake off anything that would not let you be bold. Just shake it off. Intimidation. Ha! Jesus was not intimidated in this situation. Instead of intimidation, indignation arose in His heart. There was a boldness, there was a compassion, but the indignation was like a, this is absolutely contrary uh, to what I believe should be happening right now. And it, and it wasn't his, oh, it's really sad. Lazarus is dead. Oh, and look, they're all really sad. Lethargy didn't exist in Jesus. The Holy Spirit moved through him and everything he did was in line with heaven. He had an inner strength and indignation about the situation rise up in that moment. And groaning in himself, he came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, not very gracious, well, graciously, yes, but not very um, pretty, please, like, take away the stone. There was a firm command. There was a command from Jesus' lips that was like, you know what? Boldness comes now. The Lord has told me something and we're going to see this. And His name will be glorified right here and right now. 